Hey Stampin' Friends, Judy Clock here at Stampin' with Crafty Clock, coming to you today for another little live at lunch. I had to pre-film this because I've got some appointments on Tuesday morning. Not sure I'm going to be back in time, so I wanted to make sure that I had this done and ready for you to go. Because today, the spring catalog, the January to June catalog, goes live. It's celebration, and I want to highlight a couple of my favorite products from both the mini catalog and from celebration and the first thing I want to highlight are these really adorable embossing folders they're on page 55 they're the stripes and splatters 3d embossing folders and we're going to create cards with them today but these aren't part of any suite so sometimes when it's not part of a suite it gets overlooked so I really wanted to draw your attention to those because I love embossing folders for adding a quick bit of texture and interest to my cards and the other thing I wanted to show you was a host only stamp set. It is, oh, I don't know if I can find it now. I don't know, it's at the back of the catalog. Here it is, the very last page. It is called These Mischievous Mice. It is absolutely adorable and it's available for hosts only. So if you want to earn that, reach out to me and we'll talk about how you can get this. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to use the, um, Simply Marvelous Designer Series paper from Celebration when we go to create our two cards today. And I love it because it's versatile. It's got just that kind of solid or um, variegated color. So it really goes with almost anything. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start really quickly. I have a bumblebee base and I have a piece of that Simply Marvelous paper. It is cut to four by five and a quarter. Now, don't get rid of that little strip because we're going to take that and we're going to put it on the bottom of a piece of four by five and a quarter basic white. And we're going to put that on the inside of our card. So sometimes we can use these little strips to add a little bit more interest to the inside of our cards and we're not just throwing away all of those tiny scraps. So let's go ahead. I'm making this a thank you card. So I'm going to leave the inside blank. I'm not going to stamp a sentiment or anything in there. And of course, my silly, um, okay, this has decided to act up. So we're just going to go to the glue. I don't know why this acts up like that. It really kind of irritates me. But sometimes you got to go with plan B. All right. So here we've got our inside, despite the best interests of our tape runner to not work. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put this. And I chose the more marbly look than kind of that wavy, watery look. I just liked the marble look for this card a little bit better. Let's hope our tape runner is going to cooperate now. Okay, it looks like it's going okay now. Sometimes it just gets ornery. I guess we all have times like that. All right. Let me put this on there. So that was four by five and a quarter. Now I have here a piece of more basic white that is five and a quarter by two and a half. And I'm going to run this through the stripes 3D embossing folder. I just like the way this looks. Let me flip this over. It's got a little something on it. A little something, something. And where are the rest of my pieces for my mini stamp cut and emboss? Don't you just love the mini? Very easy to work with. Gets it done. This To use these embossing folders, you use plate one and plate four on these mini 3D embossing folders. Okay. So look at that. Isn't that fun? Love those stripes. Kind of like a little bit of a broken look to them. Let's go ahead and add this to our card. I'm not even going to try with the tape. I know it's going to tear this up when it's embossed. All right, I'm going to put this right in the middle. And I did a little bit of pre-work because I know it's lunchtime and everybody's got to get back to work, so I want to keep this short. I stamped the large image, the cheese with the mouse image. Then I colored it with some watercolor pencils and I went over those with our blending pen. And I'm just going to attach the little piece of 
the hunk of cheese. And this is, um, and there we go again. This is smoky slate that I cut out with our layering um, circle dies. And this is just going to fight me because you know, you're trying to get things done. You're trying to be, you know, efficient. And there's always a wrench in the works. I, might, I wanna make sure I'm on camera. Okay, and then I'm just going to pop that on there with a couple of dimensionals. And I used the um, the layering circles. I used the scallop circle that was like two sizes up from my solid circle because I wanted a little bit more of that gray border to show. If you want less of a border, then you would use the layering circle, the scallop die that's like one size up. I'm gonna take a little bit of our smoky slate again, and I'm just gonna stamp a little thanks on here. My sleeves keep falling down on my shirt. There we go, we got a thanks. Very simple little card, not a lot, but see how that little bit of embossing just kind of adds a little bit more texture, and we're gonna use one more Stampin' Dimensional. We're gonna pop that on. And then I used some of these um, silver and clear epoxy essentials. And I just, I'm gonna pop a couple of these on here. Maybe we'll do one of these shapes. Maybe put it over there. Ooh, trying to get the diamond to go up, but it's already on there, so that's how it's gonna stay. I left my pick tool upstairs, so I don't have that. But that's our first card. So we've got the Mischievous Mice, which is the host only set. We've got the stripes embossing folder, 3D embossing folder from our summer and spring catalog. And then we've got um, the Simply Marvelous paper from Celebration. And we use that little extra strip inside. Let's go ahead and see how those splatters work. So it's got the same thing. I'm going to make, this is going to be a birthday card and I'm going to stamp on the inside in petal pink. I'm going uh, to stamp, it's your birthday. And then I'm gonna come back in with our basic gray and I'm gonna stamp that cute little mouse who's holding the pencil because we're going to write just a note to say. So he's writing his little note. So I thought that was cute. I hope you do too. All right, let's go ahead. Now, my card base was cut to eight and a half by five and a half. And then I took a one inch strip off my card front and I cut that down to one inch by five inches. I scored it at three and a quarter, I'm sorry, three and three quarters. And now I'm just going to kind of attach that around the inside and we're gonna put that down. That's going to become sort of like the overlay that's going to lay over the front of our card like that. So now we've got, um, I'm going to add a piece of are simply marvelous and this time I am going to use the marble side because I really wanted those beautiful grays to show and I thought it was a little bit deeper than the reverse so I wanted all of those beautiful colors on there now if you were making this for a guy you could change it out and you could use the blue um, I chose to go with the pink I love how like gray and pink work together it's one of my favorite color combos then I'm going to run this one through the splatters um, 3D embossing folder. I do love my embossing folders. So how about you? Are you an embossing folder fan? Let me know. And who has the Stamp Cut and Emboss Mini? I like this, it's easy for travel. When I go in my RV, I can take this one with me like the majority of my dies will fit in there. So it's a really good little road companion for traveling. Okay, I'm gonna add some glue. I'm gonna add that there. And again, through the magic of TV, I've already die cut a piece of um, gray granite, and I have my little white circle here. Again, I use the layering circles again 
So, you know, no worries. You can use those. They come in a multitude of sizes, so they're perfect for doing this kind of stuff. And again, I went two sizes up because I wanted a little bit more of that gray to show. I'm going to put this on with some dimensionals. Okay, put that right there. Again, we're gonna add some epoxy gems. I like to do these in clusters of three. Don't know why, it's just kind of always been my thing. Put one there, and maybe, I don't know, put one there. And those are it, those are our two cards featuring three of the new products. These gems are in the annual catalog, but we've used the Mischievous Mice host only set. We've used our stars, I'm sorry, our splatters and stripes 3D embossing folders, and we have used our Simply Marvelous designer series paper. That's it for this edition of Live at Lunch. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you all next week. Happy shopping. Let me know what your favorite product is from the catalog. Bye.